Hello everybody, here I am again with another one of our awesome videos and today I'll be showing you some really cool stuff. Today I'll be showing you how to make something like this. Like this. Pretty cool, right? It doesn't even... It like... It doesn't make sense, but... I've got an idea. If we put the phone on this... <laughs> what is this? It's this hard drive. But instead of being powered by a normal power supply, I just used an arrangement of batteries. Inside is a spinning disc, so it has a gyroscopic resistance. So I just put more weight on that disc, and that settled it. But the challenge now is to show you how to make one of these. Hold on to every screw and know exactly where it came from. Now I don't know if every single drive is going to work like this one does, but I don't know. So the goal is to reduce as much weight from this drive as possible, so everything needs to go. Okay, we got those cool parts out. If your drive has this weighted plate right here, take it off. Got to remove those spacers and I'll put them back on. The other discs on, put as many on as you can. Okay, so make sure that the discs are pressed down nicely by this cap. So you're gonna need a Molex cable. So anyway, put your piece of electrical tape like that and an alternating pattern start sticking them on. Okay, so that's six volts. We're gonna be using that for the five volt input. A total of 14 volts. So that's more or less good enough. Now you wanna take your hard drive and on the area with the platter, so there isn't too much leverage on the other side, stick on the batteries. And we're looking great. Now, I was fortunate enough to find these magnets inside an iMac, actually like nine iMacs, but that's how I connect the ends of the batteries together. Now, if you can figure out another way, cool. Maybe you can put like a little piece of copper and tape it on there, but neodymium magnets with a coating on it, that seems to work best. You got the positives hooked up to the negatives. And I forgot which one's which. We're gonna have to have a way of turning it off, so I just put magnets on the end of the wires like that. Okay, so here's the layout that you want. These first two take the 12 volts. Yellow is positive. These last two take the five volts. Red is positive. So if you track along the wires, you see that that's more or less the way we have it hooked up. Now you pick it up, and though it seems like you shouldn't, let it go. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That just like, it really shouldn't be doing that. Now this continues to spin until it falls. So eventually with every rotation, it's lower and lower with the lower. Now I didn't bother to check what was the proper uh, hookup of the wires and I hooked them up in reverse. So 12 volt to five volt and I brought out the one I was making, the one I made and a drive that I tested it on. So you can feel confident that this is the way to do it. These batteries last you a uh, couple minutes. I prefer to have the Molex plugged in and just be able to put on and remove the wires, but yeah. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, it helps. And as always, you'll see me in the next video. Goodbye.